Clip brake is a clay brake which is stacked dry using clips instead of mortar. The clay bricks are manufactured to a tight tolerance to fit into the wall within the gauge of the system. Each clip brake has a groove on the top and the bottom to house the clips. There is a recess on the header side and this recess ensures that there are no problems with the application of cavity wall ties during the build. A range of clip brick formats are available as part of any clip brick build, including whole bricks, half bricks, corner bricks, lintel bricks and whole and half window edge bricks. With clip brick there is just one course of brickwork that is mortared, that is the very first course, the so called kicker course. It is essential that the kicker course is correctly measured in order to prevent any discrepancies in height and width. A header slat should be used when laying out the kicker course. This can be made by measuring out a 24cm section on a long marked slat. The kicker course must be level and the clip bricks laid to match the measurements on the header slat. The face of the clip bricks should be laid using a plumb line string to ensure they are in line and all the grooves match ready for the clips to be inserted. The connector clips are made of stainless steel and are shaped to clamp themselves into the groove on the top of the brick to ensure they are joined correctly. A plastic hammer is used to tap the clips into the groove and in place to ensure the weight of the next level of clip bricks does not rest on the clips. The connector clips are used to fasten the wall ties to the bricks. Approximately 46 clips are used per square metre. Clip bricks are packaged in such a way that they can be used straight away from the packs to to site with no need for blending of packs. Each pallet of clip bricks is clearly marked with corresponding details to each order. This detail enables easy identification of the contents of each pallet, allowing them to be appropriately placed directly on site. Each layer of complete clip bricks should be cleaned with a brush before the next layer is built. To install the clip bricks completely level to the facade, a plumb line strung between the profiles is used. The stacked wall is aligned to the string. The wall ties can be secured by tapping the clip over the wall tie and into the groove on the top of the clip brick. More than four wall ties are you needed per square meter. In practice, this means a row of wall ties should be attached every five layers. The stacked facade of clip bricks shows small open vertical joints between each brick. These joints should be equal in size as much as possible. Corner clip bricks are 210 millimeters long with an additional groove to line up with the groove in a hole brick in order to create a right angle corner. To end the wall, whole and half end clip bricks are used. An additional clip is tapped into the end groove to ensure it does not become loose.
drill template can be used to drill the hole for the plug and wall tie in the correct position. The template ensures the middle of the drilled hole is aligned with the layer size and that the hole for the wall tie is drilled precisely in the middle of the brick. Using the levels on the template, ensure the template is always level by ensuring it is in line with the vertical joint of the underlying brick. Using the colour-coded arrows and holes, the required holes can be drilled. Wall ties are tapped into the inner wall using a ramming rod and hammer into the holes drilled using the wall tie template. Profiled threaded wall anchors are not tapped in. They are screwed in using the adapter included with the specified system. Profiled wall anchors should be used in builds such as wood or aerated concrete inner walls. When using hard insulation, they should be applied before wall ties are marked, drilled and installed. Soft insulation sheets can be applied after the wall ties have been tapped in, with the wall tie going through the insulation as it is applied. Just as with normal brick, click brick facades need expansion joints and these can be specified according to the normal standard for brick length. Expansion joints should be 5mm wide, which does not need to be added to the initial measurements of the build. Clip brick lintel bricks are delivered in pairs. At the top of the brick there is a notch which provides space for the lower flange of the lintel, bedding strip and gliding foil. Steel lintels are usually used when building with clip bricks. The lintel is placed on a piece of pressure resisting felt or equal material at the top of the lintel brick. The basic starting point of the clip brick system is a bearing of 110 millimeters the bedding strip should be placed with a 10mm offset from the face of the brick and gliding fold should be placed across the full length of the lintel. If required for strength, the first two layers of bricks onto the lintel can be glued using quick clip brick fix. All horizontal facade edges are glued. This means the top three edges below an opening such as a window and also at roof level. The glue, click brick fix, is included as required as part of the specification for the build and is applied to the top center of the click brick. It does not impact on the height of the build as the joint is less than half a millimeter.